everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my Muscle Function video series. I hope everybody had a great weekend and I hope all you mothers out there had a wonderful Mother's Day. I know I did. So to kick things off for this week, I'm going to go ahead and go over the fourth of the six deep hip lateral rotators, okay? Last week we went over the Geminalis Inferior, so this week I'm going to go over just the opposite of that. I'm going to go over the Geminalis Superior. I'm going to go over the origin and insertion. I will show you around about where it is on my body, followed by a picture of the Geminalis Superior so you know exactly where this muscle is. And then I will follow it by its function and then finally provide you an exercise so you know how to strengthen this muscle in the future. So, to start off, the origin of the Geminalis Superior lies on the ischial spine and then inserts onto the middle aspect of the medial surface of the greater trochanter of the femur, okay? Now, thinking of the ischial spine, okay, you want to think about the sits bone, okay? It is not as far down as your butt bone, okay, which is down here, but if you find the bottom of your sacrum or your tailbone, okay, and just go directly over, okay, probably a couple inches, you're looking around about the origin of the Geminellus superior, okay, so it's around about middle of the glutes, okay, and then it inserts right onto pretty much the middle portion of that greater trochanter on that top of that medial aspect of that greater trochanter, okay, that is the bony hip part that you would feel down here, not up here, but down here where your leg would bend. Okay, so again it originates right in here and then it inserts right over here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture for you so you know exactly where I'm talking about right here for you. Okay, so now so you know exactly where I'm talking about now we can move on to its function. So the function of the Geminella Superior is to obviously, like I stated at the beginning of the video, it is a lateral rotator of the hip. So it's going to laterally rotate or rotate your leg outwards. Okay, it's going to rotate that hip outwards. Okay, but it also stabilizes that femur into the ball and socket joint. Okay, it's going to help keep your leg where it needs to be so it doesn't fall out of place, okay? So once again, uh, as far as the lateral rotation of the hip goes, you're looking at this, okay? Now once again, I'm over-exaggerating it so you know exactly what it looks like, okay? And with the exercise video, that is the type of exercise that I would recommend that you do for the Geminellus Superior and the rest of the deep hip lateral rotators only because uh, this is this would be the motion that you would be able to strengthen it the best okay so I'm going to go ahead and then insert that video if you guys haven't seen <coughs> excuse me if you guys haven't seen the videos previously you can go back and view those but if you have it will be the same exact exercise from those previous videos on this one so if you're comfortable with knowing how to do that, you can go ahead and stop viewing this video if you wish to right here, or if not, if you want to see a reminder, you can go ahead and view the rest of it. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that video here for you right here so you know how to do that exercise. Okay, you guys, that seems to do it for the Geminalis Superior. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them below. Uh, I do appreciate you all listening and watching to my videos. If you stuck through it for the fourth time, I super do appreciate it. Uh, but I wish you well for this week, and I wish you a very productive week. And I hope you guys all have a great week. So I will again see you guys next week. See you guys later.